Hey guys, today I'm going to be talking about is the recyclable having two cats is like a lot of hair all over the place. Oh, it's like you're playing with my cat who uh, came back from the hospital. She was there for four days. The bill was high. Uh, is the recyclable packs a good idea? So I made a few videos showing that they're very easy to manipulate, but eco-friendly packs, I like the idea, but you have to kind of consider no other card game has eco-friendly packs. Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh, Cardfight Vanguard. Maybe there's a reason because the little heat glue, I'm just going to go ahead and say that you can buy at any Home Depot, Staples, it's Amazon, anywhere you want to buy that little heat glue, you can buy it and it's not terribly difficult to obtain. Now that being said, the pack itself I don't, it's only eco-friendly if the person who opens the pack recycles it. Now, if you go to any local game store, most of them are not going to have recycling. And so the idea of an eco-friendly recyclable pack only works if people are recycling packs. Which, uh, given most Magic players and their tendencies, uh, have you ever seen a Magic Eponym and with the food on the table? Uh, the chairs destroyed. I mean, Magic players are on a whole, not individually, but on a whole, more likely to be messy. And I'm going to go ahead and say less likely to recycle. Now, Modern Masters 2015 was a good test. Can imagine them having done this for something like Battle for Zendikar or Magic Origins. Hopefully, it's not already for Magic Origins because that's coming out soon. It would be a disaster for Walmart and Target. Uh, Walmart and Target Associates, if you call them that, um, they do not give a shit about magic cards. And they can't, like, uh, they cannot, if, if you as a magic player cannot tell the difference, how would a Walmart employee with no interest in Magic the Gathering be able to tell the difference between tampered and untampered? And the whole idea of recyclable packs, um, while appealing, uh, just isn't done executed correct. The idea is a good idea. I'm not going to criticize the idea. The idea I like a lot, but the execution of said idea is just terrible. I'm, I can imagine uh, going to Walmart and then opening packs and there's not even like rares or commons in them. There's like Pokemon cards. And that's the larger... Um, in many ways, uh, Wizards of Coast got extremely lucky this problem was found at Modern Masters 2015. Because if it was Battle for Zendikar, Walmart, Target, all these places would pull them off themselves. Because they wouldn't sell. Well, I guess they would sell the first time and then be returned later. Um, so in many ways, they are extremely like, lucky that they did the eco pack experiment for Modern Masters. 2015 as opposed to Battle for Zendikar or Magic Origins. Um, I love eco-friendly recyclable packs. I love the idea. I just don't believe most Magic players are going to recycle those packs. And if you open them at lo your local game store, does you, your local game store, leave a comment below, have even have recycling facilities. Uh, mine does not. I don't know anyone that in Houston that has those for still, I, I just don't know any of them. And I don't feel like they will go ahead and like start doing it and then people would throw packs because people would also throw like uh, food in the recycling bin. I mean, all the local game stores I've ever gone to have been just a lesson in mess control. Uh, if you had to clean up after Friday Night Magic, you can probably explain. I mean, there's soda stains. I mean, these are valuable magic cards on the table and then people are eating french fries, ketchup, I mean, are these people mo more likely to recycle? My opinion is no. My opinion is that the eco-friendly product, even if it didn't have the tampering, uh, even if you couldn't tamper with it, people just want to recycle um, because most cards are open at a store or open at home and uh, unless you're that type of person anyway that would recycle and in that case, good for you. Uh, but um, leave a comment below what percentage of Magic players do you think would take time out of their day to take the recycling pack, put it in their car, and wait until they had went home, I guess, to recycle it. 
I don't feel many or what percentage of stores do you believe even have recycling? I can just see a store with a recycling bin and nothing but like ketchup packets, barbecue packets, Twinkies, uh, grease, and obviously that would be very bad. Bye guys!